So it's time for number seven's top seven in seven minutes. Kellen, what is on tap? So for the top seven this week, we have the top, my top seven sports movies of all time. Now, I want to do a quick shout out to the movies that made honorable mention. Okay. Coming in at number 10 is Little Giants. Aww. Number okay. nine <laughs> is Sandlot. In our review, Christian. What number Time nine? Whoa, 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 whoa. Make your okay. list. Okay. Time out. Right, not let make the list. Let him go. Let him put, go. put in the shredder. Let him go. Next. And, and number seven. No, you the jump man. Sorry, my fault. Number eight. The jump man himself, Space Jam. Okay. So, so here we go. I'll get my timer out here. You just made the list. <laughs> here we go. Coming in at number seven. Here we go, Christian. Ready to go. Get, go for it. All right. Can I get the sound real quick? I just like the sound. You just made the list. <laughs> at number seven. <laughs> We got Miracle. <laughs> Holy crap. My Al Michaels Miracle. Herb Brooks led the underdog U.S. hockey team to an unlikely gold medal. Have you guys all seen this movie? I, I hope you have. If not, Netflix and chill tonight. As played by Kurt Russell, Brooks is a miraculous <laughs> taskmaster, whipping his young players into shape in order to prepare them for taking on the fearsome Soviet Union team in the 1980 Winter Olympics. Kurt Russell is unbelievable. My buddy at Micah and I last night, who's a big fan of the show, Watched for about 10 minutes on YouTube. Just some of his one-liners. It's worth the two and a half hours that that movie is long. Again. <laughs> just made the list. Again. <laughs> Coming in at number six is Hoosiers. Sometimes you just want to be moved beyond all reason. Enter the feel-good sports movie in which a troubled coach and Gene Hackman, who's one of my favorite actors, motivates a group of underdog 1950s Indiana high schoolers to play the best basketball of their career. They live by it, and they stick to the fundamentals. Coach Dickerson, I'm sure, loves this movie, Drew. He may even have showed you guys this movie before. Hoosiers signifies when you do your best, even though you might not look like David, you can still slay Goliath. You just made the list! Coming in at number five, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this movie. I have because my dad forced me to watch this one. Chariots of Fire. Chariots mm -hmm. of Fire, that song. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> That's where that comes from. In this class-obsessed and religious divided United Kingdom of the early 1920s, two determined young runners trained for the 1924 Paris Olympics. Eric Little, a devoted Christian born to Scottish missionaries in China, sees running as part of his worship of God's glory and refuses to train or compete on the Sabbath, refuses to run on Sundays. Harold Abrams overcomes anti-Semitism and class bias but neglects his beloved sweetheart. It'd be a great one for you and John to watch. Lacey, in fact, John Schaub watched this movie on the way back from Texas. Shout out to John for watching this movie. I guarantee you my dad forced him to watch it. <laughs> you just made the list! Coming in at number four, shout out to Sean Austin, Rudy, Rudy. Mm. Rudy wants to play football at the University of Notre Dame, but he has neither the money for tuition, the size for football, nor the grades to qualify for a scholarship. Rudy redoubles his efforts to get out of the still mill, still mill where his father works with and where his friend dies in an accident there. Overcoming his dyslexia, thanks to a friend and tutor, D-Bob, Rudy gains admission to Notre Dame and begins to fight his way onto the school's fa fabled football team, and he gets playing time in the Irish's last home game. You just made the list! Coming in at number three is Coach Carter. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. In 1999, Ken Carter, who's played by Samuel Jackson, shout out to Mace Swindu, returns to his old high school in Richmond, California to get the basketball team back into shape. With tough rules and academic discipline, he succeeds in setting the players on a winning streak. But when their grades start to suffer, Carter locks them out of the gym and shuts down their championship season. When he is criticized by the players and their parents, he sticks to his guns. He's determined that they excel in the class as well on the court. One of my favorite sports movies of all time. You just made the list! Coming in at number two, probably the movie I've seen more than any other movie in my lifetime, probably have seen this movie about 79 times, is Remember the Titans. In Virginia, high school football is a way of life, an institution revered, each game celebrated more lavishly than Christmas, each playoff distinguished more grandly than any national holiday. And with such recognition comes powerful emotions. In 1971, high school football was everything to the people of Alexandria. But when the local school board was forced to integrate an all-black school with an all-white school, the very foundation of football's great tradition was put to the test. You just made the list! 
And coming in at number one, I'm not going to go the whole series. I'm going to go in this one specific movie in general, Rocky IV. After reclaiming the boxing championship life, Rocky Balboa plans to retire and live with his wife, Adrian. However, during an <laughs> exhibition match, Rocky's friend Apollo Creed is beaten to death by hulking Russian newcomer Ivan Drago. Rocky vows payback against Drago and flies to Russia to train for a Christmas Day fight. Despite their different training methods, and they were different, Rocky and Drago both wage a long and intense match. Now, guys, I kind of want to ask a question to each of you real quick here as we have about two minutes left in the seven minutes here. Lacey, your favorite sports movie of all time and why? Uh, well, I'm glad you mentioned Space Jam because that's got to be my favorite one just because I grew up watching it. Like you said, your favorite one you watched 79 times. I've probably at hit 80 with Space Jam, so that's probably one of my favorites. Awesome. Christian? I am going to go with Sandlot. I think that it's one that I've watched 6,000 times. It's just <laughs> a story about a kid's playing baseball. They lose a baseball, and they have to get the baseball back, and it's great. So watch Sandlot. Uh, Sandlot should have been on that seven. I'm a little irritated with you right now. <laughs> and Drew? Um, I'm really just upset that my movie didn't even make your top 10. Was it Glory Road? No, it's not Glory Road. Okay. I don't like I don't like Disney sports movies <laughs> with the exception of Miracle. Um my favorite movie, uh sports movie of all time is We Are Marshall. Oh, Ooh, there you go. that's a great movie. That's in my top 15, but top <laughs> <laughs> behind Sandlot, that's right. <laughs> but <laughs> I just I just I don't understand how Space Jam and Sandlot aren't in the top 7. I mean, hey, I'm Italian. I love Rocky just like just as much as the dude. next dude. But come on, man, Sandlot's got to break the top seven. It's I just Space Jam you know, was revolutionary. Uh-huh. It's a baseball. Movie. I think when you, when baseball is one of your you know kind of back in favorite sports, it's not going to quite crest that top list. It's, I like Angels it, in the outfield. I like the rookie. Man, that sounds like. How my about list. Little Big League? Anyone remember Little Big League? Christian, you remember Little Big League? Oh, which one was it? Min- Minnesota Twins, where the guy, yes, where, where no, the guy's yep, grandfather I got dies. I got it. And, yep. Uh, and I right almost there. chose the movie that you star in. You know, Drew in White Man Can't Jump. Ooh. <laughs> I couldn't, quite put that on. Couldn't, couldn't quite make. Have the you list. guys ever seen a League of Their Own? Yes. Yes, I have. Movie. Very good That's movie. I watched it. Tom, Tom Hanks is fantastic. In I everything. watched it on the way home from Cooperstown. This past summer on the plane, mm-hmm. Friday Night Lights was also honorable mention as well. Oh, that's, that was a t- a, that's a TV show, though. Really, that's more than fair. Yeah, movie. that was sitting at like, like number eighteen. But and then for those of you who like football and don't like any swearing, Facing the Giants, mm. not a bad movie. I'm sure mm. my mom made you watch that one. I'm surprised you didn't take kicking and screaming. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you no, know, Mike Dick is in there, Hall of Fame coach. I that's fair. 